Good day to everyone. I'm a resident of North Sophia. I'm a single parent and I'm skilled as a cosmetologist. Um, I firstly want to say thank you for the grant. It is timely. Mm -hmm. And I, as a single parent, I'm skilled as a cosmetologist, but I do not have a facility to ply my trade. So that's what I, I did. I, guess, guess I do not have a facility to ply my trade, so I would have to provide like own services for persons. To ply your trade. Okay. And what I, do you do? What do you do? I'm a cosmetologist. Cosmetologist. So I would have to do a home service. Yes. And as a single parent, one of my main concerns is to be out at the time that my children are out and home when they're home. So I will use this grant to prepare that facility that. I can work from home yeah. so that I can be there for my children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, my concern is not just for myself. Um, I had no idea about this program of the grant. It was someone who knows of my plight as a single parent that would have signed me up. Yes. And I am like that someone who is now concerned about other single parents as young as 17 right within my community, who I am aware of that has a genuine situation like mine sure. and would have not known of this program. Yeah. So I'm wanting to know if there will be another leg where they can have the opportunity, um, if not of the grant itself, in terms of the skill training, like you said, or something to help better yes, their sure. lives for themselves and their children. I, I agree. So we may not be able to help because we still have, remember it's a limited sum every year and we have to utilize it across the country. Here from Sophia, I have some others from, from South Georgetown, I have to help too, right in Georgetown. So next year we'll ha definitely have, we'll be able to work again with maybe another group. So next year, once the new budget comes out, we'll be able to help another group also from Sophia. But we can definitely help with the training. And what would be good for me, if we could get all the single parents in Sophia, a few of you should work and try to get them registered. We may be able to help um, them separately outside of this grant program. Yeah, let's get all the single parents registered for me. We have to find a way to get that done in Sophia. Because what we have done in some, con in some parts of the country, like in Linden and other places, where we have hired people on the, the, the part-time jobs, we have assigned them to daycare facilities. Too. So they can help out in daycare, even private daycare. So they can help out so that the mothers, that would free a lot of mothers to go out and do other things. And we may be able to do something of that nature in society. So let us, first of all, you're going to undertake to get this done. Kwame and who, who else working with you? So make sure, Nigel. From, this is at a ministerial level, but you have staff and Right, you all would be working on this. No, no, no. Get, get, go house to house and see um, if we find all the single parents. And then we should see what we can do to help. Okay? Because we want to make sure, even if we can't help directly through the training, we can help. Or to free them up so that they can go. They have a place to keep their kids whilst they're airfending. We may be able to work on that too. Yes, yes, please. 